So this was a video that I never planned on doing, but due to all the questions, comments, emails, private messages that I constantly get about these rods, I decided to do a, I guess a little, I wouldn't say mini review, but more of an information video about them and what they are and where you can get them if you want them. Now, if you're wondering why I bought these rods, if I wasn't planning on doing a test review video of them, let's talk about that right now. Now, a little over a year ago, I was looking for two rods that I could use as control rods for doing side-by-side -side casting comparisons between finesse bait casters. Now, I'm not talking bait finesse, I'm talking just above bait finesse. We're talking, you know, five grams up to maybe half an ounce tops. So I was looking for either a medium light to light powered rod to compare reels like, you know, the Corrado 70, the Aldebaran 50, Tatula SV, the new Tatula 80 is considered a finesse reel. Reels of that ilk, reels that are just above Bay Finesse. Now, of course, since I was buying two rods, I wanted to keep the price as low as possible. So that was the first priority, but I didn't want a crap rod either that looked like shit. So looks was a secondary priority. So of course I stumbled upon these after searching on AliExpress for a few days. And this is the Obsession. I don't know if you can make that out. It says OBS and then Eschen. Mojo Bass. Now if you go on AliExpress and you see this rod, it doesn't have Mojo Bass anywhere in the description. It just says Obsession, but Obsession is the name of the store that I guess sells these rods. So the brand is Obsession and the model I guess would be Mojo Bass. Now these are two piece rods, which was a priority for ease of transport. And they came with this halfway decent rod sleeve or rod bag. It says Obsession Mojo Bass. They're kind of a hybrid between nylon and thin neoprene on the back. And I believe each rod is gonna have its model specs on it. So you can see the rods that I have are six foot six, two piece, medium power, line weight eight to 16 pounds, which is perfect. Lure weight six to 21 grams which is also perfect. So that's a little bit under one quarter of an ounce going up to three quarters of an ounce. Now let's look at this rod in detail. As you can see, it's pretty stunning. Black with bright orange accents. Right here, you have a nice machined aluminum four nut. And you can see there's writing says limited edition which I seriously doubt and then check this out on the other side it says made of Japan which is hilarious that doesn't say made in Japan of course because that would be a lie not that I would put it past some of these Chinese manufacturers to lie about stuff but I think they purposely said made of Japan because this rod is pretty much a blatant copy of Shimano's first generation Poison Adrena. So for Shimano rod owners, especially of the higher end rods, you'll definitely recognize this reel seat as a copy of Shimano's Perfection reel seat, right down to the three little slots on each side. Now I'm not hating on Obsession for copying this reel seat because it is the most comfortable reel seat that I've ever used so far. And then of course you have your EVA foam handle, which for the cost of this rod, which we'll get to in a moment, it's actually pretty high quality. It's very soft and firm. It's not that cheap, low density EVA that feels really uncomfortable and scratchy. And then of course we get to the copy of Shimano's carbon monocoque butt section and you can see they even sectioned it out you got your glossy piece right here 
And then you got your little soft touch section where you grip for casting. All right, let's take a look at the end cap. Well, first of all, there is a lot of uh, graphic detail on this rod. There's your orange trim piece. It says engineered by obsession. And the end cap is metal. It says mojo. Now the blank, hopefully the camera will focus, has a spiral X carbon tape pattern imitating a lot of Shimano's, but it's only probably going up about 10 inches up the blank before it gets into I guess a more normal looking blank. I'm not sure what the guides are but the overall build quality of this rod for the price is actually pretty damn good and then you got your little cheap hook keeper but yeah when you assemble this rod and hold it in your hand it feels very light and very crispy and pretty stiff but does that equate to awesome performance let's talk about that now recently a subscriber asked me how this rod compares to the Shimano Zodius now I actually used to have a Zodius model first generation that was pretty much the exact same spec as these Obsession Mojo Basses. It was a six foot six medium, two piece, and for bass fishing and bottom contact stuff, the Zodius is noticeably better than this Mojo Bass. The Zodius is stiffer, faster, it gets into its backbone a lot sooner, and I think it is noticeably more sensitive. Now this rod, a couple of times I actually did take it fishing and the small fish that I caught with it the sensitivity is actually pretty decent for the price but when I did set the hook into those small bass I felt that the rod was definitely slower than the Zodius I would probably consider these rods to be moderate fast leaning towards the moderate side so I definitely wouldn't really recommend them for soft plastics or jigs where you have to set the hook on a really thick gauge hook smaller finesse plastics you should be fine this rod will probably really excel at moving baits like jerk baits or small square bills and top water as well and I guess smaller Kitex with exposed jig head hooks keep in mind I've only fished this rod two times and I really don't plan on doing a long-term review on this rod but I do plan on taking it down to Florida with me to target some peacock bass. And that's mainly due to the fact that it is two piece and it should travel much easier than a one piece. Okay, so let's wrap this video up by talking about the cost of this rod. Now as of this video, this particular rod starts out at $35. Which seems like a huge bargain, but if you look at the shipping cost, which is about another $35, you're looking at a rod that to your door is probably going to be close to $80 since they've started charging sales tax on AliExpress for some reason. Now, do I feel that this rod is worth $70? I'm going to say yes. It looks awesome and it performs well enough. And if you don't fish the rod out of its comfort zone, then the performance is definitely good enough it's sensitive enough it casts really good and it definitely looks better than any other rod in its price range available here in America and I checked on Taco Warehouse to see what rods would be competing against this rod in price and while there are quite a few out there from companies like 13 Fishing, Daiwa, Abu Garcia, Shimano, all the big names none of them look quite as good as this rod now I'm gonna go ahead and put up a picture of all the models and links available because they do come in more links than just this six foot six 
So if you're interested in buying this rod, I'm gonna leave a link directly to the Obsession Fishing Store in the description box of this video should you decide to check one out. All right guys, thanks a lot.